Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to Kvision uh, Engineering YouTube channel. All right. So as I promised, uh, I took the uh, auto flight system uh, uh, lesson. So this is the first lesson regarding AT Chapter Twenty Two. All right. So uh, if you are a new uh, viewer to my channel, so I am Keshara Vikramasinghe. Uh, I am a professional aircraft technician. So, uh, if you still not subscribe my YouTube channel, please subscribe and please share this uh, YouTube channel or please share this video with your friends, relatives, and uh, any of your uh, any of uh, your member or your friend who like to learn about aircraft maintenance. All right, so no need to take uh, time. So let's go to the lesson. All right. So today I'm going to teach you about ATA Chapter Twenty Two Auto Flight System general lesson number one so uh, this lesson i'm uh, going to teach you about system design philosophy and system presentation right okay so through this lesson you will learn the new concept of auto flight system present the relationship with the electrical flight control system and the full authority digital engine control and presents the general architecture and the main function of the auto flight system all right okay so the first one auto flight system design philosophy Sorry. okay all right uh okay you can see this is the system right auto flight system so the first one is the general concept okay you can see these are the sensors this is auto flight system or the computation and this is the electrical flight control systems uh these are the electrical elevators ailerons all right ailerons elevators and these are the spoilers okay so all right so this is the fad fadex go to the engine all right uh okay so these are the thrust levers all right so uh, the auto flight system calculates orders to automatically control the flight controls and the engines all right so the auto flight system or as afas auto flight system computes orders and send them to the electrical flight control system uh, electrical flight control system and to the full authority diesel engine control fedex to control flying surfaces and engines all right remember this one auto flight system compute orders auto flight system take orders and send them to electrical flight control system and also fedex right to control flying surfaces and engine so when the auto flight system is not active the above mentioned components are controlled by the same system but orders are generated by specific devices example side sticks and thrust levers it, it means if if the auto flight system is not uh, operate it means not active uh, like you know the flying surfaces and engines are controlled by the same system but the orders are generated by specific devices it means uh, if the auto flight is not working then uh, we can put input the thrust lever and also the side sticks right so then the the orders will give from the thrust lever is go to the fedex and this go to the engine all right okay now next one is 1.2 navigation right so these are the sensors initial system radio radio navigation system right so these are the aircraft portions computation in auto flight system right okay so the fundamental functions of the auto flight system is to calculate the position of the aircraft right so the fundamental function of auto flight system is to calculate the position of the aircraft so when computing the aircraft position the system uses several aircraft sensors giving useful information for for, for this purpose all right so now next one is the flight plan okay so the system has several flight plans in its memory these are predetermined by the airline all right so the flight plan describes a complete flight from departure to arrival it includes vertical informations and all intermediate waypoints all right these are the waypoints you can see the waypoints so it can be displayed on the instruments it means cathode tubes it can be displayed all right okay you can see the fly out of flight system primary flight plan secondary flight plans okay these are already pre uh, determined by the airline all right okay now next one is the operation so these are several ways to use the auto flight system so uh, these are several ways to use the auto flight system 
so the normal and recommended way to use the auto flight system is to use it to follow the flight plan automatically all right so knowing the position of the aircraft and the desired flight plan chosen by the pilot the system can compute the order sent to the surface and engine so that the aircraft follows the flight plan all right you can see the auto flight system aircraft position computation flight plan is go through the gate and orders right so then is go to the electrical flight control system and fedex all right okay now the next uh, okay uh, under uh, under operation the pilot has an important monitoring rule right the pilot has an important monitoring rule during the auto flight system operation side sticks and thrust levers do not move automatically right remember uh, this is also a very important point it means when in the auto flight system operation side stick and uh, thrust levers do not move automatically all right okay now the auto flight system fly by wire so if the pilot move the side stick if the pilot move the side stick the auto fly system is active it disengage the auto fly it means if uh, the auto fly system is in active mode but the pilot move the side stick then the auto pilot will be disengaged back to manual flight when the side stick is released the electrical flight control system maintain the actual aircraft altitude all right okay so this is the side stick okay real side stick all right uh, now the system design system design you can see to meet the necessary reliability the auto fly system is built around four computers it means auto 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 fly system is working under four computers two interchangeable flight management in guardians computers and two interchangeable flight augmentation augmentation computers so it is a fairly operative system so each flight management and guardians computer it means fmgc1 and fmgc2 and each flight augment, augmentation computer fact1 and fact2 has a command part and a monitor part to be fail passive all right you can see this is the fact1 this is the fmgc1 right yeah all right so now let's go to the uh, system presentation so under system presentation the first one is general all right so this is a system right this is the fmgc1 and 2 this is the uh, fact 1 and 2 these are the flight control unit mcdu fact 1 fact uh, 2 buttons right okay this is the rudder tree so the auto flight system provide the pilot with function and reducing their workload and improving the safety and the regularity of the flight the auto flight system is designed around two flight management and guardians computers fmgcs and two flight augmentation computers facts and two multi-purpose control and display units and one flight control unit okay all right so now uh, the controls the flight control unit and the mcdus enables the pilot to control the function of the flight management and guardians computer all right so the function in the flight management guardians computers computer is controlled by uh, flight control unit and the mcdu so the fact it means flight augmentations computer engagement push buttons and the rudder trim control panels are connected to the flight augmentation computers all right these are the flight augmentation control push buttons right so the mcdus are used for long-term control of the aircraft and provide the interface between the crew and the fmgc allowing the management of the flight so the flight control unit is used for short-term control and of the aircraft and provide the interface required for transmission of engine data from fmgc to full authority regional engine control fedac okay you can see the real this is the flight control panel and this is the flight control panel there are two and this is the rudder trim control panel all right so now next one next time gcs flight management guardians computers right so this is the flight management guardians computer one and two okay so there are two interchangeable flight management guardians computers each flight management guardians computer is made up of two parts the flight management part is called fm part and the flight guardians part is called fg part the flight management part provide functions related to the flight flight plan definition revision and monitoring and the flight guardians part provides function related to the aircraft 
control okay remember it so this is the ray avenue compartment this is the flight management and in computer one so the next one fact flight augmentations computer here there are two interchangeable flight augmentation computers the basic function of the flight augmentation computers are the rudder control and the flight envelope protection remember the flight augmentation includes an interface between the auto flight system and the centralized fold display system call fold isolation and detection system this function is activated only in position one or it means frac one all right okay next one the other system right so these are the other system uh, electronic flight control system fedac navigation communication uh, cpc fuel iis engine interface system uh, elect, uh yeah and uh, cfds landing gear control interface unit right right so the auto flight system is connected to the majority of the aircraft okay an example of auto flight system data changes reception of the aircraft altitude and attitude from the air data and initial reference system and transmission of auto autopilot orders to elevator and aerials computers ELAC. all right all right so this is the railway avionic compartment you can see so many computers over there all right okay so that is the end of this lesson uh, thank you for participating in this lesson and uh, next lesson you will going to learn about uh, flight augmentation computer under general uh, lesson right so uh, if you uh, like this video please hit the like button and if you have any questions please uh, comment below and then i will try to answer for these questions as, as soon as i can and uh, uh, again if you still not subscribe this channel please subscribe and share these videos with your friends family relatives and any other who like to do aircraft maintenance especially for a 320 family type training and uh, uh, that's all and um, I want to tell if you still not watched the previous videos regarding the 80 chapter 21, uh, 71 and uh, also the generals, towing. There are so many videos I uh, already uploaded so you can watch these videos. It will be useful for your uh, knowledge. Alright, so uh, let's meet on next lesson. Have a good day for all of you.